Here I have some lemon seeds that I removed from some lemons that I received from one of the people in our community, in the gardening community. And so I removed the seeds so I can save it to plant, try and plant lemon trees from seed. Here I took the husk off the seed. And as you can see, there's a little, I will call it a shoot right there on the seeds. And so I'm going to go ahead and plant those and see how good it's going to do, how well it's going to be for me to grow that lemon plant. I think it's worth a try. This is what the shell looks like or the hull or the husk or whatever you want to call it. And so this is the result of the seed when you take that layer off. Now these I'm going to store it up. I have a paper envelope here and I wrote what's on it and the period of time in which I collected those seeds and I'm doing this with one hand sorry about that but I'm gonna put these seeds in the envelope all of it because I'm gonna keep it stored up properly and hope in hopes that it lasts for as long as I need it to last so I'm gonna put them right here in that envelope and I'm going to make sure I put it away in a dry place. And here you see I wrote the contents of the envelope on it and where I got it from. And I'm going to take one of these moisture control silica packages and I'm going to put it right in there in that envelope only because the lemons are fresh and I want them to dry up properly and I don't want any moisture in there to encourage rot, seed rot or a mold to grow in there. And so that's just a method for me to use to make sure that the seeds stay safe and viable. And that way I can have seeds that I can grow successfully when I need seeds to plant in the future. So. I'm going to just spray the envelope with a little bit of water here so I can seal it right on the tab right there like so. And I'm just going to seal that envelope. And the reason I put it in the paper envelope is because if I put it in plastic, it would leave room for it to sweat and, you know, encourage the moisture. And I'm going to just drop this right on the windowsill right here and when the sun comes in i'll put the shades up and the sun will hit that envelope and it will dry out the seeds even though it's in the envelope but with a plastic bag or a little zipper bag any plastic material that would not be the case it would just sweat and go bad so now i have here my seeds that i am going to plant and i'm going to plant them both in this one little planter here and i can always a pot it in the future so what I'm gonna do is make a hole right in here I'll just take the pen and stick it all the way down because I want to plant it deep enough because it's a big enough seed and it would have energy to push out that shoot so I'm gonna make two holes right there just like so and I'm now gonna just water in those holes because it's deeper in there and I'm just going to spray a little water to make sure that the soil is moist deep down in there where I'm going to drop the seeds. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop my seeds in there. Make sure the holes open properly and I am going to make sure I water it in. Yep, and then I'm going to drop my seeds in there. Where are my seeds? There they are. Come on. Okay. I'm going to drop that right in there. And I'm going to drop the second seed. And I'm going to go ahead and cover it up. Push down a little bit on the soil. Just to make sure it's compact in there. And there is soil contact once that seed sprouts. And I'm just going to go ahead and spray the top of that soil to make sure that it's properly moistened and I'm going to take this plastic that I have here and I'm going to just cover the top 
And these plastics, I'm using that because I've used it before and I'm going to reuse it. So I kind of save those so I can always have it to use. So there it is. I'm going to cover the plastic, the pot with the plastic to create that sort of greenhouse effect. And that would help the soil stay moist and help the seed to germinate. I'm just going to sit it right over here with some seedlings that I have going. And let me show you what else I've done with those lemons. I did make some juice already with it. Lots of lemon juice. I still have a few left. And I also just see right there I have like five of them left. Because my daughter doesn't want me to do anything with it. She just wants to make fresh squeezed lemon juice with it. I also was able to dehydrate some. And I dehydrated them with the seeds in it. Look how dry this is. Crunchy. It just breaks off like that. So you can put these in your teas. You can make powder with it if you want. You know, it's so flavorful. So what I do is I just dehydrate these slices of lemons. I cut them really thin to make sure that they're dried out adequately before I could store them. And like I said, you can still see some seeds in there because there's also benefits in the lemon seeds. I put a moisture control pack in the mason jar and I'm just going to pack this lemon, dehydrated lemon in there so we can use it to make our teas and we can enjoy some lemon flavors in our cooking. So there you have it. I was able to get a full half gallon of dehydrated lemon then we that we can use I'm just going to cover it up right now so i can properly store it and like i said um i did put a moisture control packet the silica packet in there just to make sure that it doesn't have any moisture and that can suck it out of the lemons if it ever has moisture in there 